Hey you guys, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings. In lieu of little Megan Ankles, I mean Megan Markle's uh, birthday, I figured we'd spill some nasty on these royal people before we get to the other stuff later on. Anyway, stick around towards the end or go ahead and fast forward, get yourself there, and you'll learn some real good stuff. Real quick, did you know that uh, Queen Victoria and her husband, uh, Prince Albert McCann, were first cousins? How disgusting. How Richard III actually killed his two nephews uh, after their father, Edward IV, died. Richard's thought to have locked those 12-year-old Edward V and his brother 9-year-old Richard, Duke of York, away in a tower. And when and how the boys died has never been proven. But uh, the boys' remains were found buried in that tower in 1674. Queen Elizabeth I was believed to have had an affair with her companion Robert Dudley, which, whatever. Anyway, what made their alleged relationship so scandalous is that Dudley was married at the time to a woman named Amy, and the queen had her killed. The youngest son of King George V, and Queen uh, Mary developed epilepsy at, at a young age. Between the diagnosis and subsequent uh, embarrassment to the royal family, they hid Prince John at the family estate in Norfolk, Norfolk. Whenever John visited his doctors in England, he rode in a car with blinds drawn. How sick. To keep the royal family's bloodline intact, methods of marrying within the family have been executed. Incest to make sure that outsiders don't corrupt the family tree. Cut to 2012 when King Richard III's bones were discovered, buried underneath a parking lot in, in some place in England. To prove that it was King's, the king's remains, the DNA was taken, and it proved not to match, meaning there was a father that didn't have royal blood. At a party several years ago, back in 2005, the then 20-year-old uh, Prince Harry decided to dress up like, like a Nazi. That was the excuse. But if you'll take a look at uh, the other party goers, it seems it was the theme. You know how they have white parties. They were taking this to a whole nother level. I see a guy there with blackface, him in his little Nazi costume, and uh, the other dude dressed like a KKK. He issued a half-ass apology stating how sorry he was. He didn't mean to offend anybody. It was a poor choice of costume, blah, 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 whatever. Save it, Harry. The royal family were all friends uh, of Adolf Hitler. So does that shock you about little Harry at his party? Anyway, they're trying to brush it off like it was just a friend of the uncle, Edward VIII's close relationship with Adolf Hitler. Bogus. My grandfather was lieutenant colonel in the army who fought right next to Patton. And he's told me a lot of things. Of course, he, he passed in the 80s, but before I left to Germany myself, he sat me down and told me quite a lot. They actually didn't kill Hitler, according to my grandfather. Uh, they had him smuggled. The, the royal family had him smuggled underground through tunnels, and I don't know where he ended up, but he did not die, by the way. Just keep that in mind. I'm the nosiest person that I've ever met in my life, and... I say that because everything I've read in a history book, I keep searching and searching and searching. If it's an interesting subject that matters to me and it contradicts everything that I find out contradicts everything I've ever read in a history book, be it in primary school or high school or college. It just, it turns out to be completely false and bogus and it's an agenda that that the world has and that's another video for another day but just keep that in mind prince philip has been quoted as saying i say what i mean and i mean what i say that being said he's a pea brain a misogynistic human being no he's not human a misogynistic creature and a complete racist he said british women can't cook he said that women are no different than prostitutes uh, I quote him as saying, um, if you all stay here much longer, you'll um, also be slitty-eyed, and that's ghastly. When he was speaking to British exchange students staying in Beijing, um, 
he said, you're a woman, aren't you? When he was speaking to a lady in Kenya who had uh, her natural hair short. And that's just who he is. And that's who this family, uh, who they are. Birds of a feather flock together. Sorry, sad but true. Princess Margaret uh, fell in love a couple of times in her life. Well, several. Uh, once to a guy named Captain Peter Townsend when she was 14 years old. He was married. Uh, his divorce made it impossible for them to get married once he did get a divorce. Her other lover was her gardener. Um, she kept him along for a long time. Anyway, she ended up marrying Aunt Anthony Armstrong Jones, and they've had two children, but they divorced 18 years later. And she says Townsend will always be the one that got away. At 14, how gross. During the marriage of Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew, Duke of York, she was busted on some beach during a vacation without her husband having her toe sucked by her lover and she, I guess she didn't realize she was being photographed by the paparazzi but that made huge scandalous headlines in 1992. The misogynistic and racist Prince Philip when he got married to the Queen back in 1947 a source of infidelity accusations ever since have been spinning around. Uh, Channel 5 documentary, Delving into the Royal Family, claims that not only did he have a wonder in iron hands when he was a younger man, but he may have slept with another woman on his wedding day. Her name's Daphne du Maurier. She's an author. He also has slept with Princess Alexandra of Kent, but Daphne du Maurier is someone that's been ongoing for him. I don't know if it's current. I, I read stuff all the time that he's cheating on the queen. I mean, constantly. And I'm not talking about in rag tabloid magazines. I'm not that, you know, I want to dig down deeper than that and get some quality information. And I found one, one not too long ago, it was right after the wedding, that he was sleeping with a much younger woman. Money talks, honey. That's the way it goes. And these women are, are willing to do whatever, whenever, and whoever. And this is just proving that fact. Because I wouldn't touch the dude with a flaming spitball. I promise you I wouldn't. I would run like Forrest if he came at me. That's the truth. When Kate Middleton uh, married Prince William, it was it said that the Queen um, had to instruct Kate on how to act now that she's not one of the common folk. Kate seems to have hate heeded, of course, the Queen's warning, but former bodyguards were dishing on how Prince Harry likes to wear stupid temporary tattoos because he'll never have a real one. But what made their tag their tongues wag is that they were talking about how Kate likes to work the stripper pole. Um, but the Queen put an end to that and said that wasn't the way a proper royal woman should uh, should act. George, Duke of Kent, was perhaps the most controversial member of the British family, which I don't buy that. That's just what I'm, I'm reading here. That's bogus. There's so many more, and we all know that. But he died mysteriously in a plane crash in 1942, and he was um, an embarrassment to everybody else just because he was bisexual. Um, he loved to party, and he was addicted to morphine and other opiates of, the, of his time, and as well as an alcohol uh, alcoholic. But he has a long list of lovers, including both men and women. Oh, and he loved cocaine. Of course, Granny had to uh, put an end to the party in ways of Little Hash Harry. That was his nickname in college. They, they actually sent this kid to rehab for smoking too much weed. Um, and I get that too much of anything is a bad thing, but, you know, <laughs> anyway, he couldn't, uh, smoke his ganja anymore. They, uh, he was the one that would show up to parties with the fat sacks, and so Granny took it into her own hands and sent him to rehab. Ridiculous. How do you rehab for marijuana? That is my question. 
I'm curious, and if you have the answer, let me know. Anyway, Marco won't even let him smoke cigarettes anymore, so I'm sure he's not going to be able to pass a, a, a doob. And did you guys know that Kate Middleton is actually second best? She was Prince William's back burner. He was in love with this chick named Isabella Carthrope. Carthrope. Anyway, I can't pronounce it. She's an aristocrat, and she dumped his butt in 2005. And uh, anyway, that's when he met Kate. So he decided since she didn't want him, he's going to pick up with Kate. So sad, but true. I'm not being anybody's doggy bag. And we all know that Prince Charles is extremely proud of his Vlad, uh, his Dracula, Vlad the Impaler uh, roots. He um, was joking with somebody not too long ago about how he was proud of and accepted his place in Dracula for folklore, blah, 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 and even purchased a farmhouse in Transylvania. How weak. Don't he look like a goober? Vlad the Impaler's not only his uh, hero, here's some more heroes. And we all know, my parents used to say, you are, you are the company you keep. And I, it didn't even, I couldn't understand what they were saying until I got older. But, you know, look, and it's so fitting for this situation. Prince Charles, you are the company that you keep, buddy. Jimmy, I'm sorry, Sir Jimmy Seville, and I hope I said his name correctly. Um, he was friends with him till the end, till the man died, and everybody knows he's a big old pedophile. And then John Lewis, who was a headmaster at the school, and if you'll look at that picture where his child, he's introducing his child, is shaking his hand to that John Lewis, check out Charles's face. Like, oh, I told you so. Anyway, happy birthday, Megan. Here's some good old stuff on Megan. Okay, this is exciting. It's said, allegedly, Megan Markle moonlighted as a prostitute while she was a briefcase girl on Deal or No Deal. Two of her famous clients are film producers named Stephen uh, New Turner Newton and Brett Ratner previously. Newton was a film producer and a hedge fund uh, manager before he became the 77th seventh current U.S. Secretary of Treasury. Um, on the other hand, Ratner's a famous producer and director known for the film series Rush Hour, X-Men, and The Family Man, among others. Anyhow, you guys, she was also a yacht girl, and this is where it gets kind of juicy. So there's this dude by the name of John Doe, and you can search him out yourself. He was saying um, that he was a very close friend of Prince Harry's, like lifelong friends, um, up until, I guess, Prince Harry found out the truth. That during her time, Megan's time as a yacht girl, he happened to have been one of the clients on the, uh, the, the yacht that she worked on, the particular yacht in, in Cannes that she worked on, that she had sexual li liaisons with for money. She had adult relationships with these people for money, y'all. And uh, anyway, it came out, and now Prince Harry's all up in a big whatever over it, and we'll see what's to transpire. Also, Mar uh, Marcus Anderson, who happens to be her best friend, quote-unquote, has been deemed by Prince Harry to be a safe companion. We're talking about a gorgeous, straight man, okay? You don't send your spouse off with somebody of the opposite sex. And deem them, how naive are you, Prince Harry, you big dummy? Anyhow, you guys, I wanted to include real quick the uh, information beforehand. All of this crap comes out on Megan. Because, I, you know, I hear so much nasty stigma around, you know, the South. How we're inbreeders and we're stupid hillbillies, this, that, and the other. You know, what's the difference with these royal people? They're these royal reptiles, what, what, what is the difference? They have money. That's the difference. They're inbreeders, okay? They, they're scared to have anybody else come into their bloodline. There's no difference, man. They just pluck away the ones that come out with a crossed eye or a, a bent down ear or a limp. That You know, they have the money to hide those. The hillbillies don't. You know, I've met some fine hillbilly people, but 
You know, I'm so tired of the South getting a bad rap when the rules are nastier on any level than any Southern. That's a fact right there. So, anyhow, you guys, I just thought I'd make this video real quick.